In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a download button on Google Sites, which when you click on it, it automatically downloads a file to your computer. It doesn't redirect you to any other website. It simply just downloads that file. Now, what we, what we need to do is we first need to open up a website. I'm just using this one as an example, so ignore all the contents. But what you would do is you will go ahead and click on button. That will then insert a button or it will try and insert a button to your website. Here I'm just going to name it download and now we need to go ahead and upload a file to Google Drive. So head over to Google Drive, go to google.com forward slash drive. I'm sure you all know how to go to Google Drive. It's a place where you can upload and store uh, content. So go to Drive and once you're inside of Drive you then want to go to new, file upload and upload your file. Now I'm just going to use this as an example, I've already got a PDF uploaded, but you can share PDFs, you can share videos, you can share zip files, you can share literally anything. But what you want to do is upload your file and once it's on Google Drive, you then want to right click on it, go to share, click share again, and this by default will be unrestricted. You want to go ahead and change this to anyone with the link, and then you want to go ahead and copy the link. Once you've copied the link, click done. Now what we need to do, we need to use a little bit of, of code to actually get this to download without redirecting our traffic to Google Sites. So I'll go ahead and leave this in the description, but this here is going to be useful to you. Um, you need to go ahead and copy this. Now what I recommend you do is copy it out of the description and put it into Notepad. So we'll leave that on line one and then on line three or four, paste in the link to your file. So here you've got drive.google.com forward slash file, and then you've got a bunch of different numbers. Now, here what you need to do is you need to copy all of these numbers and letters. So it says file forward slash D forward slash, and then it starts this field here. Now this field is going to be the file ID. So you want to copy the file ID, and you can see it's very clear which is the file ID and which isn't. And you want to paste in the file ID at the end of this here. So this is coming out of the description. So you want to go ahead and obviously paste that. So you want to go ahead and paste your file ID at the end of this link here from the description. So let me just undo. So you've got this copied from the description, then you would copy and paste your file ID from the file at the end here of this link. So now you've got this long link, we can now copy this. We can now go to insert button, paste in this link and click insert. Now you've got your download button, which you can obviously customize and make sure it looks good. Um, but let's just check that it works. So now let's click publish. Now we'll view our website. And now if we click on download, it should just download without taking us to Google Sites. And there you go. It, it opens it, but it redirects us back straight away and it downloads the file. That's the best you're going to get. That's how you do it. I hope that helps you out.